the greatest technological challenge. That's how Elon Musk described the fully and immediately reusable heat shield. Yet he's now confident that SpaceX can overcome this challenge, achieving unprecedented capabilities this year and mastering it by the next. It sounds ambitious, but there are many promising developments that suggest it's within reach. So how is SpaceX upgrading its heat shield to tackle this formidable obstacle? So how is SpaceX upgrading its heat shield to tackle this formidable obstacle? Let's dive into it on today's episode of Great SpaceX. It can be said that no organization, past or present, has focused on rapid and full reusability as intensely as SpaceX. Their goal is to reuse everything, launch systems, rockets, engines, and even the most challenging component of all, the heat shield. The heat shield is arguably the most difficult aspect of reusability because it consists of tens of thousands of small interlocking tiles. Managing and maintaining such a complex system is no small feat. Recently, Musk shared an intriguing update on this topic. In response to a question on X about the long-term challenges of Starship's heat tiles, Musk stated, I am confident that we will figure out a fully reusable, technically a high multi-flight reusable heat shield in 2025. At first glance, this seems almost unbelievable. For the heat shield to achieve full reusability, all 18,000 tiles must withstand re-entry without damage, undergo minimal refurbishment, and be ready to fly again immediately. Moreover, Musk's emphasis on a high multi-flight reusable system implies that these tiles must maintain their durability over multiple flights. This is a monumental achievement, especially given that tiles have fallen off or broken during previous test flights. SpaceX has not yet fully reused both stages of Starship either, making the goal seem even more ambitious. However, Musk's confidence isn't unfounded. He has outlined a clear vision for achieving this feat. In a tweet, he stated, A truly reusable orbital heat shield has never been made, but I think SpaceX has a decent chance of solving it in 2025 and solving it well in 2026. This roadmap aligns with SpaceX's ongoing efforts to innovate and improve. In recent flights, significant progress has been made with the heat shield. For one, SpaceX has likely upgraded the pin system that secures the tiles, resulting in fewer instances of tiles falling or breaking. This improvement alone marks a critical step toward reliability. Additionally, SpaceX has shown a proactive approach to addressing problems. For example, after observing re-entry issues with the tiles on Ship 29, they removed and redesigned the heat shield for Ship 30. These newer tiles are likely made from enhanced materials that offer great durability. To complement these upgrades, SpaceX has also introduced ablative layers as a backup solution for the heat shield. These layers can absorb and dissipate heat during re-entry, adding another layer of protection. Recent flights have demonstrated the effectiveness of these systems, with successful re-entries achieved despite the immense heat and stress. Looking beyond, SpaceX has even more ambitious plans for the heat shield. Musk has mentioned developing a metallic version of the heat shield to replace the current ceramic tiles. This would be an unprecedented innovation, potentially offering superior durability and reusability. Moreover, advanced cooling systems, mainly using water, methane, or nitrogen, may be integrated into the heat shield. These systems could help manage extreme temperatures during re-entry, further enhancing the shield's performance. SpaceX has also tested heat shield designs for future Mars missions. A recently released test video showed a new version of the heat shield enduring extremely harsh conditions, underscoring the company's commitment to developing robust technology. Even in the near term, SpaceX is implementing upgrades. For instance, S35 features prominent red tiles on its nose cone, which suggests a significant improvement in materials. These tiles will likely be tested in upcoming flights, offering valuable data for future iterations. Based on recent advancements, it's plausible that SpaceX could achieve a reusable heat shield this year. As Musk suggested, the company might be able to reuse a ship with its original heat shield for one or two flights by 2025. By 2026, they aim to refine the system to support multiple flights, fulfilling Musk's vision of a high multi-flight reusable heat shield. 
SpaceX's ambitious flight schedule provides ample opportunities to test and perfect this technology. The company plans to conduct up to 25 flights by the end of 2025. To support this goal, they are ramping up production, expanding testing facilities, and improving their launch systems. Prototypes are being produced and prepared at an unprecedented pace, allowing for rapid iteration and innovation. During these flights, SpaceX is expected to introduce a critical advancement in ship's recovery method. While current ocean landings serve as a temporary solution, SpaceX plans to transition to catching ships with the Mechazilla arm. This method is considered optimal for refurbishment and reusability. If SpaceX begins testing this approach as early as Flight 8, scheduled for later this year, they could master the technique by mid-year. If you're as excited about this breakthrough as we are, let us know with a wow in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's remarkable journey. Indeed, in order to achieve full reusability for Starship, SpaceX must address several critical steps during upcoming flights, including upgrading the heat shield and refining other flight systems. One of the initial objectives will be repeating and perfecting the feat accomplished in Flight 5, catching the Super Heavy Booster using the Mechazilla arm. This will be attempted again in Flight 7, followed by mastering the method in subsequent flights. While it may seem that Super Heavy is unrelated to the reusable heat shield, achieving full reusability for the rocket as a whole depends on the success of both components. Without the booster being reusable, the effort to perfect the heat shield loses much of its significance. Another key milestone will be Starship's final ocean landing in Flight 7. This step will serve as a crucial test for the heat shield engine and flaps. Successfully completing this test will pave the way for an even greater challenge, a full journey around Earth, followed by re-entry and a precision landing caught by the Mechazilla arm. The difficulty of this endeavor cannot be understated, as it requires extreme precision and flawless operation across multiple systems. The heat shield will play a pivotal role throughout these processes, as it must protect Starship from the intense heat of re-entry and endure the entire journey unscathed. Meanwhile, systems like the flaps and engines must ensure accurate navigation and deceleration to position the spacecraft for a precise landing. Additionally, the chopstick catching system on the launch tower will need to operate seamlessly. For its first catching mission, whether Tower A or Tower B is used, challenges abound. If Tower A is selected, the chopstick system must quickly transition from handling Super Heavy to catching the returning Starship. Alternatively, using Tower B presents the unique challenge of operating a previously untested system. Despite these hurdles, SpaceX has a solid foundation of confidence in its systems. Navigation components like flaps and grid fins have demonstrated reliable performance in past flights, and the engines have operated effectively on at least the last two missions. Additionally, the chopstick system's success during Flight 5 offers reassurance regarding its capabilities. All of these efforts aim toward the ultimate goal of achieving full reusability for Starship, with all systems functioning harmoniously. As SpaceX works on these advancements, early 2025 is set to be a strong period for its Falcon 9 program, particularly with upcoming lunar missions. Specifically, SpaceX is scheduled to launch two Falcon 9 missions that will carry up to four lunar vehicles, including three landers. The first of these missions is the Blue Ghost mission, slated for January. This mission will deploy the Blue Ghost spacecraft built by Firefly under NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services initiative. Its objectives include studying elements related to the Moon, Sun, and Earth sciences. The Blue Ghost spacecraft has already arrived in Florida in preparation for the mission. Alongside Blue Ghost, the Hakuto R lunar lander, developed by Japan's iSpace, will also be aboard. iSpace, which previously built the Slim Lunar Lander, launched in 2023, though it failed to land, is taking another crack at lunar exploration. The Hakuto R's key tasks include establishing communication links and a power supply on the lunar surface. The second mission involves the IM-2 mission, scheduled for launch by Falcon 9 around January or February. 
This mission is for Intuitive Machines, a familiar SpaceX partner that saw success with the IM-1 mission in early 2024. The IM-2 mission aims to locate water ice at the moon's south pole. Accompanying the Intuitive Machines lunar lander will be NASA's Lunar Trailblazer Orbiter. While the lander searches for water ice directly, the Trailblazer will conduct its search from orbit, offering complementary data to support lunar exploration goals. NASA's determination to return to the moon is evident in its push for lunar lander missions, especially after the IM-1 and astrobotic missions in 2024. These efforts align with NASA's long-term plans, including the Artemis II crewed mission scheduled for 2026. The data gathered from these precursor missions will be vital to informing future crewed exploration efforts. And with that, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.